Hello there, family. God bless you. You're welcome to Prophetic Intercession with Amel. It's always a great privilege for me to bring you prophetic messages from the Lord. If this is the first time you're seeing me, a special welcome to you. Thank you so much for stopping by. I pray God is going to use this channel to minister to you. He will use this channel to tell you his mind. He will use this channel to help you know him better and to confirm the voice of God you hear. Because I do believe we all hear the voice of the Lord. Yes, we all hear the voice of the Lord. But sometimes you just need an extra confirmation to know this is the voice of the Lord I heard. Hallelujah. I pray that this channel is going to help you get that confirmation in the name of Jesus. I do hope you're having a great day. I do hope that God is um, faithful. Hallelujah. God laid his word in my, in my spirit. They had a secret plan. As a matter of fact, their plan was to get rid of you. The plan they had was to get rid of you. But God is faithful. God is faithful. I, I have come to know in my little days of walking with God and praying with people, praying for people, I have seen so much evil that you do not need to do anything wrong for someone to want you dead. You do not need to do anything wrong for someone to want you out. As a matter of fact, you know, just you having a dream, just you deciding to do better, just you deciding to maybe defile the status quo at your end, just you deciding to serve God can get people so jealous of you that they want to get rid of you. I have seen that so many times. Why did Cain kill Abel? What did Abel do wrong? Abel gave an honorable offering to God. I mean, whenever I think about this, it is sickening. You know, you all have an opportunity to give to God. Someone decides to give more to God and it gets you pissed. Someone decides to offer more to God and it gets you so angry that you kill them. Why did you not just give a better offering yourself? Why did you not just decide to serve the Lord better yourself? I mean, it's such a painful reality. You might be saying, maybe you're watching me and you're like, nah, nobody wants me dead. Or nobody's trying to get rid of me. I have done nothing wrong to someone. I have done nothing wrong to anyone. I bet you, you don't have to do anything wrong to anyone for them to want you dead. You don't have to do anything wrong. You just, you just have to decide to be different. You just have to decide to chart a course. You just have to decide to do something that nobody is doing. Apostle Paul, there was a plan to kill him. When Apostle Paul was persecuting the Jews, when he was killing the Christians, nobody had an issue with him. But when he, but when he encountered Christ and he was transformed, and now he was all about the gospel. He was all about preaching the gospel and all of that. There was a plot to kill him. The Bible says a group of people came together and bound themselves by an oath. A group of 40 men. They came together and bound themselves by an oath. They said, we will not eat, neither are we going to drink until Apostle Paul dies. Why? Because he was charting the cause. Why? Because he was creating impact. Each time you set out to create impact, each time you set out to do what people cannot do, the response is to get rid of you. The response, people are so insecure in themselves. They are so insecure. They do not even believe in themselves to try or dare to do things. That when people dare to do things, they feel threatened. They feel afraid, they feel so scared that their response is to take them out. Their response is just to, let's get rid of this person. Let's get rid of them. They should not leave. Let's do everything to terminate them. But God is faithful. God is faithful. God is faithful. Can you imagine, whenever I, whenever I think of this story, 
it makes me so sad because I am a family person. I love my siblings so much. As a matter of fact, I share my dreams with them. I share my, you know, aspirations. Why? Because I want to inspire them. I want to inspire them to do better. I want to inspire them to dream. I want to inspire them to know you can you can actually set your goals and achieve. I want to inspire them to know you can actually rise to the top, you know. So I share my dreams with them. I share my visions with them. And when I imagine, when I imagine that Joseph got, got into trouble with his brothers, because he shared his dreams. He dared to share his dreams and it got him into big problems with his, with his siblings. It's scary. It's really scary. You know what jealousy does? Jealousy blinds you to your own potentials. Jealousy keeps you glued on what people say about themselves, on who they say they are and what they do. Jealousy makes you blind to the gift of God that he has given you and it makes you to concentrate your effort and your energy on hating on someone else when joseph was sharing his dream with his brothers he told them i saw the stars the moon and the sun bow to me and they knew the, the stars were them they did not stop to think and say oh we are stars Please, you're going to forgive my voice. I'm having a cough, but I have decided to bring out this word God has laid in my spirit. I have decided that devil can stop this. I hope that I'm, I'm able to communicate. Hallelujah. They did not stop to think and say, oh, we are stars. That's a great, we can, we can always shine as stars. We are right up in the, in the sky, we can shine. No, they got so angry because they heard that they had to bow to him. Guess what in life? Everyone must bow to someone. Everyone must bow to someone. Even Joseph that had the dream of seeing the sun, the moon, and the star bow to him, had to bow to the Pharaoh. In life, everyone has to bow to someone. I pray for someone that is watching me right now. People's envy and jealousy are getting them to a point where they want to get rid of you. I pray that the faithfulness of God is going to cover you. The grace of God is going to cover you. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for you that no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus, with your eyes will you behold and see the reward of the wicked. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. God bless you. Thank you.